Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to a brand new Minecraft video. Today, boys and girls, I will be showing you and walking you through over 100 furniture build ideas and tips and tricks for indoors and outdoors of your Minecraft builds. If you do enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button and comment down below telling me how your day has been. Starting off with our first bit of furniture, we have this modern couch design using snow caps and quartz stairs. You simply turn the quartz stairs and you just place snow layers up until whichever layer you, uh, you know, deem necessary. I think this is four snow layers, but it just creates a really nice depth in between the two blocks. And you can wrap it around and it gives a nice, sleek, modern look. Then we have a super simple curved stair armchair. This is used as four oak wood stairs. And as you can see, you place one, you curve it to the side and you can actually make this as big as you want. You can take it all the way along, just using the same thing. And then you could just place slabs in between to kind of fill in the blanks. Next, we have a armchair just using snow caps. Now, snow caps are very, very good for making furniture. As you can see, uh, you can uh, put them to pretty much any level you want, and that just creates depth in between the blocks. As you can see, we've got the highest at the back. Then we have two armrests either side, a little bit lower than the back, and then finally the seat itself. And as you can see, uh, it just creates a very, very nice modern armchair. Next, we have a single chair using a birchwood stair with birchwood trapdoors surrounding it the entire way. Very, very simple chair down and then you flick the trapdoors up either side. Doesn't really matter which way as long as they are facing uh, the stair on its closest sides. Next, we have a, uh, well, this is actually a pretty cool design. So we have a spruce fence, then we have a white carpet and then on the back of the white carpet, I don't know if it's gonna let us place it. Oh, and you just flick up the spruce uh, trapdoor just like so. We then have a design using spruce wood stairs, slabs, and the new spruce wood trap doors. Just flick them up on the sides, and it kind of curves around like a giant L shape, and then you kind of have like a chelange on the side. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. I don't know, so you know, don't go give me hate in the comment section, okay? But yeah, a nice big sofa design or a couch design would look very, very nice in maybe a huge traditional uh, sort of house. Next, we have a super sleek and modern design. This is with the snow caps and you can actually place carpet on top of snow caps. You just kind of build up the snow caps, place the carpet on top and it uh, could actually make for a pretty good table actually. I didn't even think of that. Um, but as you can see, it works very, very well. Then of course on the side we have the iron trap doors we flicked up um, using the uh, redstone torches which I actually just destroyed so if we go down and grab one uh, I can show you how this works. You pretty much just place it underneath like so and then it flicks up and uh, yeah you cover it up and it looks very very nice. Moving on we then have another single chair using a slab, a door on the back and two trap doors flicked up either side. Next to this we have the have armchair kind of just using a lot of different blocks of the same texture. We have the stairs upside down and then kind of normal facing ways we then have two blocks either side and these slabs on the bottom and this kind of cutout kind of just gives a nice uh, little bit of added depth um, and uh, depth is very important with furniture you know with different levels and layers it just works nicely we then have uh, more of a bar stool which uh, would actually look very very nice in maybe a restaurant a cafe or even a kitchen in a home it's simply just a fence a slab on top two signs either side and a trap door of your choice on the back it kind of just flicks there and uh, creates the backrest for the chair. Next, we have a sun lounger or I don't know. I'd call it a sun lounger. You kind of just have a stair, two slabs, signs either side. You can maybe have signs going the whole way around. Um, but I just think it's a pretty cool design to maybe have at the beach or by a swimming pool. We then have a dining room chair using a door with a banner connected to the side. The way this works, you just kind of grab your banner, you shift click and you place it on the back of the door just like so. Then of course, slabs and sides, either side, your standard chair design, but it looks very, very effective for a dining room table. Moving on, we then have a very, very awesome couch design using some beds and some banners used as pillows. So if I just grab myself a bed just here and I can show you how this is done. We simply break a block in the ground. We then place our banner down like this and we place our bed going in the direction of the banner. So you place it down and the banner actually appears through and it sort of looks like a cushion, which I think is a very, very effective design. We then have signs going the entire way around to kind of give it a more of a couchy sofa look. We then have a more of like a dentist chair is what I was kind of going for with this one. Kind of sit here, you know, you have your feet down or maybe you'd have it at a hospital. I don't know, I kind of like to, it's very rustic looking, issues an anvil, two sides either side, an iron door on the back and a stone slab simply placed in front for the kind of footstool and foot rest. Next, we have a really cool design using a piston. If we grab the piston and we place it on the ground just like this, you'll see we have a redstone torch just under it like that. We place it, bang, 
it flicks up we place a carpet on the top and if we go all the way to the back we can just do our little design we do for a lot of these and uh, flick the trapdoor up like this then cover up the middle ground i'm sure yours won't be grass but for the sake of this video they look pretty cool and would look good in a restaurant cafe or any kind of food service area. Moving on to our next row of furniture, we have an office desk design. Now this is more of an industrial office design where you'd have lots of them in a row and you kind of have your barrier of glass for privacy. We then have a simple desk design using some stairs and some slabs and then we have a little chair and a uh, pressure plate used to kind of represent a laptop and a little plant on the table. This would look good in any colors and of course any big or large office space. We then have this awesome design using logs. Now this could be for any kind of garden design or maybe you want it at a kind of lumberjack area for cutting wood and you just kind of use these rails to make it look like they're holding the logs in place and uh, it's pretty simple. You just kind of grab the rails. We let's remove them here. We place one and two and they just slant up and uh, you just bring them down at the other side, creating a very, very nice rope effect. Next to this, we have a garden chair and table design with an umbrella in the middle. Now this is just using banners on the side of a fence. You simply just place them and it kind of looks like an umbrella is closed. And then we have a simple uh, quartz slab table with uh, slabs all the way around and little trapdoors on the back for some simple chair designs. You could maybe even place some more trapdoors either side of these to make them look like armrests, but I think uh, leaving them off kind of uh, gave them a little cleaner look. And I think it's a very effective design for a garden. Next is another simple garden chair design using the same slab technique, but this time with signs on the back. And the table in the middle is simply a fence with a pressure plate on top. It looks very, very cool. It's also a lot smaller than this design. So if you don't have as much space, maybe you like to use this design other than this design. But in my opinion, I do prefer this one just because of the umbrella. Moving on, we have an awesome coffee table design. This is simply just some glass on top of some black concrete. And then on top of this is some black carpet. So bang and bang and it would look very very nice in between maybe a giant l-shaped couch or just in the center of any living room next up we actually have a table and umbrella design this is using some spruce wood trapdoors a little bit of andesite in the middle with some iron bars going up and then some floating carpet on top of string in a red and white pattern and this makes a very very nice umbrella design at a table so we have our closed umbrella over there and our open umbrella here and then you could place some chairs all the way around and it would look very, very effective. We then have a very, very simple table design for probably a dining room. I would say this could go very well in a dining room. We just have some upside down stairs facing inwards and then uh, a few rows of slabs. You could use this in any color. This could be cobblestone, oak, birch, and you know, anything with a stair and a slab, you could make this table design. So it's pretty diverse and uh, I think it's uh, simple, but very, very effective for any home. Next, we have a, another cool little design using some glass panes simply placed in a little square like this and some carpet on top, just like so. Once again, super universal because carpet comes in lots of different colors. So this table could be in a lot of different colors. You could also change the size of the glass square underneath to maybe a rectangle like this, uh, minus the connection there, and then you could place your carpet like so. So this carpet, so this table design can actually be made bigger and smaller, which is very, very cool. Next up, an awesome park bench or garden bench design, simply some fences, some trapdoors along the top, and some slabs that match uh, on either side. Pretty cool, it would look very, very good in maybe a picnic area or even in a garden. Either way, awesome little picnic bench design. Would highly recommend using this. Next up, we have the high table. Uh, you're gonna need some pretty high chairs, but a good thing we have some just over there, or even here, you could use these all the way around. This would look very good in a restaurant or bar. It's simply some glass panes with a trapdoor of your choice on top. And, uh, it's very, very nice. Next, we have our modern table design, more of a dining table. Um, it's pretty long and all it is is snow caps in the middle with um, some string and some carpet floating around. So you simply just place your snow caps to the desired height and then you simply place the string surrounding them and uh, some carpet on top. Same goes for this design on the end. It's just a smaller version, probably uh, better for a living room. And then this one could be in the dining room. Moving on to a really nice modern bed design. It's simply some concrete for a backboard and then some snow slabs. Once again, snow slabs, like I said, very, very good for creating furniture placed up to your desired height and then carried on. And then you can add some more for some, maybe some pillows. And uh, they're just very, very effective. It's very, very nice contrast between the concrete and the snow and would look very, very good in a modern house. 
Next up, a more traditional bed design using some oak, um, some pretty basic materials, some white wool, uh, some red wool, and uh, some carpet and snow too. As you can see, different layers kind of looking like a duvet or a throw is placed over with the carpet. And uh, yeah, kind of looks like some pillows there with a simple oak wood backboard. We then have a very, very simple sleeping bag. This is simply just some carpet with a snow cap on the end. You can do this once again in any color. I've made a little double sleeping bag there and that actually kind of looks better in my opinion, but I do like this. And if you are building maybe a camping area or a holiday park, you could simply place this down and have a pretty cool sleeping bag design. Next up, we have some bunk beds. Now, this is also very, very simple. Uh, people probably think uh, you can't make beds float, but you, you actually just can. If we grab this just here, we can place our bed down. And then on top of that, um, we can just place another bed if we shift click it and they kind of just float there. And then you build the rest of the bed around it. We just place some trap balls down. We simply flick them up. And uh, as you can see, the bunk bed is a pretty easy design. Some oak slabs and wood on this side, just like that. You place your ladder going up, your trap doors and signs all the way around. And you have a very effective bunk bed. If you are looking for something uh, a little bit more grand and uh, a little bit bigger, we have an awesome traditional bed design using some fence posts to hold up these trap doors. It's kind of like a, uh, I don't know what you call this, um, I don't know, an overhang around the bed. We got a chest on the end for storage, so pretty perfect for survival and very, very doable. Also, slabs surrounding the bed. The bed in the center, pretty much the same bed as over there, just in blue. And you've got a nice little backboard using the dark oak blocks. And uh, this bed is actually a very, very nice design indeed. Next up, we have another modern bed, pretty much the same as the first one I showed you with an orange backboard, a single pillow using the snow caps and a little flower on the end just to spice things up a little bit and give it a little bit of character. Next, we have a pretty unique design using some birchwood fences, some trapdoors, some uh, carpet going along the top and a door on the back. I was thinking this could be more of a hospital bed. Maybe it kind of looks like you'd be laying down or maybe you'd have this in a beauty salon or even a dentist. Who knows? If you're laying down and uh, you know you kind of have work to be done around you, this is a pretty cool bed and would fit into some pretty small spaces. The birch fences uh, or the gates simply place it like this. You place the carpet on top and then uh, the rest of it's pretty self-explanatory. We've got some trap doors going around, a door on the back and uh, very, very doable design indeed. Next, we have another traditional bed, uh, a little bit more simple this time, just using some green wool. It's actually three wide instead of two wide. Some trap doors on the end, and then we have a backboard. If I come around this side, you'll see it easier. We have four blocks on the bottom, two stairs either side, and a full block or upside down stair in the center. Next, we have another modern bed design using some birchwood slabs and some snow caps. This is simply a three wide snow cap bed a snow cap for a pillow and then birch slabs placed uh, different levels around it to kind of frame it in its position. Moving on, yet again, more of a traditional bed, I guess, but this time we have a TV on the end of it. So, uh, you know, if you are looking for a TV design on the end of a bed, this is probably a pretty good one for you. You can change the trap doors or the doors on the back to any color. You can change the bed to any color and the wood on the end to any color also. So all of these beds are pretty universal in the fact that you can switch up the materials and the colors and put them into any situation that you would really like to. Next, we have a baby crib. It is simply a white bed placed in the center, just like this, with signs placed all around. If you just shift click your signs and they actually go all the way around, making a little barrier. And uh, it's very, very nice. You then have a little uh, area to place your metaphorical Minecraft baby. And then I've got a little color scheme behind it to kind of show you. Uh, it would look pretty nice with the kind of purple color. Next up, we have an awesome wardrobe design using some banners and some iron trapdoors. If I just remove the banners like this, you can see you can shift click them and place them and they kind of just uh, have a little gap between and look like they're hanging from a wardrobe. So this is a very, very nice design if you haven't got much space and you want to build your wardrobe into the wall and uh, it looks very, very modern and contemporary, which I like. And it just looks like hanging shirts or towels and with shaders mod, you can kind of see them swaying side to side. So very, very realistic and uh, do recommend building this one indeed. Bam, we have a boxing bag. Uh, this is just an iron pole. This of course would be hanging by some kind of ceiling. If I just place this on top like that, you'd be able to see it would be hanging from the roof to uh, red wall and you'd have your boxing ring on the floor and it just kind of looks like a boxing bag. It would look very, very good in maybe a gym or a sports center or anywhere. 
and maybe even your home if you have a boxing bag in your home you know fair play some people want to have boxing bags in their home um a pretty cool design and i do uh do recommend putting this in your minecraft worlds moving on to uh it's probably something you'd have in your garden if you want to have a swing indoors by all means go for it no one is judging we are in 2019 and you are free to do so um it's pretty much just some fences built up in a cool little funky pattern all the way along the top make sure your swing is centered in the middle it is just fences um all the way fences everywhere for this one little stair um hanging on at the bottom of the fences some signs either side any trapdoor on the bottom to kind of make it look a little bit more solid so if you're looking for maybe like a playground design or uh, something to put in your house garden this is uh, a pretty cool little design and of course can be changed in color with the materials next up we have a cool little shelf design i guess uh, inside we have some iron trapdoors going all the way up trapdoors surrounding it on the side let me just show you if we just flick those up we can place them like this it's kind of a little bit difficult um but there you go uh you flick it down and uh, it kind of looks like they're shelving inside and on top of course there is a plant pot for a little bit more of that aesthetic look the colors also look very nice this is the jungle slab um the jungle trapdoor sorry with the birch uh, stripped wood behind i thought it looked very very good together and maybe uh you guys would uh, want to use that too next up we have a small little swimming pool to put in your gardens we have a shallow end and a deep end using the prismarine um, as sort of a tile um, effect, which I, I like. There isn't actually a tile block in Minecraft, as you can see. Um, I mean, I guess there's the bricks, um, but mostly they haven't actually added one yet. So I just used the prismarine on the bottom and uh, surrounded it in white concrete. This would look good in any garden or even indoors in your house. Next up, we have a hot tub. So we have a swimming pool. And if you want something a little bit smaller and more casual, we also have a hot tub using a little three by three circle water in the middle. And you have a little uh, banner on the front as a towel. But as you can see, very, very simple. And uh, just using some spruce wood and some slabs. Moving on, we have our ice or water machine, probably a water machine. And this is a very simple design. It's a snow block, an ice block, a quartz slab on top, and then a bouton on the front just like that so as you can see super simple design takes literally two seconds the ice might be a little bit hard to get in survival but you know if you want it go get it it'll look good and you can place it in maybe an office a games room or even a bedroom if you would like a water machine it's up to you but i think it looks pretty darn cool we then have a nice computer design with a little desk um we then have the pressure plates and the painting um to kind of represent the monitor we then have our stone wall which kind of looks like a computer tower, which I think is very, very nice. It does stick to the wall, a little bit annoying, but you know, Minecraft physics and all that, we can't complain. We out here and we're enjoying life. And it does look like a pretty cool computer design if you kind of just stand back. You know, it's Minecraft, it's not real, but uh, we are doing the best we can without any mods in this video. Next up, we have some dumbbell weight designs. Now, this would probably look best in the gym. You could use it along with the boxing bag I showed you all the way over there. You just pretty much place your iron trapdoor shelves and those on the top and they just look like dumbbell weights that you would use to kind of, you know, pop those muscles in the gym. Next up, we have another gym machine, a lot of gym machines here. So, you know, I'm giving you all the interior designs and you guys can uh, get some really nice inspiration and ideas. This one is uh, more, what do you call this? The bench press. Uh, you kind of lay down here, you grab the weight, you, uh, you pump it a few times, those muscles get absolutely huge. And uh, then you uh, you put it back or you have someone behind you and they squat you and uh, make sure the weight doesn't fall on your face and, uh, you know, kill you. Um, so this is just some slabs just like this. We grab our uh, fences. We place them either side. Sorry for the weird way I'm doing this, but, you know, I need the space. We place the two black blocks. It doesn't have to be black concrete. It can be wool or coal or whatever you really desire. An, uh, an emerald in the middle to kind of be the little bar that you hold. And then I just placed a birch trapdoor at the top like so. Um, I don't know. I thought it was a pretty cool design. If you guys want to change it up a little bit or any of these for uh, the matter of fact. If you want to change any of these, feel free. Tweet me a picture. My Twitter is in my channel information. Next up, we have an awesome, awesome lamp design. I really, really like this. This is using a dragon head and a quartz pillar. What you do is simply turn around and place your dragon head into the wall. You can then place your wall block back and it kind of covers up the dragon head. You can see it go in, but in a way, it kind of looks like wires connecting to the wall. You can place any block on top and then you place the quartz pillar like this and it creates an awesome, awesome lampshade design. Next up, if you're into music, you are going to like this one. This is an awesome little piano design using some spruce slabs, some dark oak fences 
and a little enchantment table in the middle. Uh, I don't know why I put that there. Maybe to represent like a notebook, you know, where you read the music. And uh, I can't read music, but I, you know, if I could, I would, and I'd play a lot of it. But as you can see, uh, super simple piano design. We've got the slabs going up, and uh, it's kind of held up. And I thought it was a pretty realistic design. It's kind of shaped like a piano would be. Um, unfortunately, there is no like fully black stair block, so we had to kind of make it um, out of the wood. But you know, we are making do with what we've got, and I think it looks pretty effective. Next up, we have a pool table or a snooker table, depending on when you're from in the world. As you can see in the middle, you're probably wondering how I got this kind of wood strip going along to represent the pool cue. Um, this is actually a sign underneath a uh, little bit of carpet. So you place the signs going along, you place the carpet on top, and it kind of looks like a pool cue or stick is laying on top of the table. Then in all four corners, I have some hooper hoppers. And uh, yeah, they look like the little things that you put the ball into. Not put, but you know, play the ball into. I don't know what you do on pool. Um, I'm good at it, I just don't know the kind of words or terminology for it. But it's very effective, a uh, little design for a snooker or pool table would look very good in maybe like a bar, restaurant, um, or even in like a games room at a house. Next up we have some barrel designs. Now you guys have probably seen this before, but I figured uh, if you haven't, I'd like to show you because you know they're pretty cool. You place, uh, you know, you place your trap doors facing inwards around a single block, flick them up, and then you fill it in the middle with uh, either lava or water. If you're using lava and you want to have lava barrels, I guess that's cool, but I'm using water. This would look great, I don't know, by maybe like a seaside fishing village. You never know where you're going to need them, but they are very useful indeed. Moving on, we have an awesome reading lamp design. This is just a uh, nether skull, actually, or a wither skeleton skull placed on the back of end rods. Now, you'd probably want this facing the wall so you couldn't see his little angry face. Uh, I mean, it's kind of staring at you and, uh, you know, no one really wants to uh, see that. But um, if you look at it this way, it looks like an awesome lamp design. It actually also emits light because of the emerald and it's perfect for a small area in a home. Next, we have the beach umbrella and, uh, I don't know, towels. The umbrella is just a fence going up with a slab on top. We then, as you can see, have this string uh, placed in a three by three circle position with some carpets on top and then some more carpet placed uh, in different colors to represent the towels underneath the umbrella. So if you're building maybe like a beachside resort or a swimming pool area, this would be perfect for you. Moving on, we have an awesome little planter design. This is simply a grass block placed with a fern on top and trapdoors all the way around the bottom. Next up, we have the kind of same design again. We have our grass block. We then have a fence and then we have our leaves on top. And uh, this is just another nice design. These leaves are placed in a cool little pattern uh, for a custom tree, but yet again, you could place these in any order you'd want and they'd still look very, very nice. Next, we have an awesome shelf design simply using spruce wood trapdoors. The best thing about trapdoors is you can place them in pretty much any way you'd like and uh, they're actually a game changer. So as you can see here, I've built a single version of this and you kind of just do this, but uh, longer and uh, higher. So, you know, that's a pretty good table design. Also, if you want to use this little one as a copy table design, then feel free. I mean, hey, it's free and, uh, you know, we did it. So have fun. Next, we have a wheelbarrow. Uh, you can just imagine me holding this in my garden. I don't know what would be inside of it. Maybe some money. Uh, you know, everyone loves money. Money inside of the wheelbarrow. And uh, yeah, a little grass around it to kind of make it look like it's in a garden. Very simple design. It's just a cauldron and uh, some spruce fence gates flicked to make it look like uh, open handles. Pretty cool, pretty nice, and uh, you know, we love it indeed. Next, we have a basketball net. Now, this is probably one of my favorite and most simple designs out of all of these. And I mean, there's a hundred, so there is a good few. Um, and how you do this net design is actually very simple. So let's remove the net um, for now. You build your uh, fences going up your glass backboard in any color, you place your cobweb, and then on the side of the cobweb, you actually place your uh, signs. I'm sorry for writing R on that, I didn't mean to, but you know, it doesn't matter, could be the brand. And uh, it just makes a very, very nice and effective basketball net or hoop. Let me know what you think about this, probably one of my favorite and uh, just looks super good, and a little bit realistic. Now, next to this, we kind of covered this over, there we go, there it is, just over there. But it's a closed umbrella. Maybe you didn't want to have the table around it, you just wanted to have it on its own. And I figured I'd show you anyway, just so you guys had the idea. Once again, it's simply fences placed up, slab on top, and then some banners on the side to make it look like a closed umbrella, or maybe even a washing line. Next, we have an awesome picnic blanket design. This is just white and red wool placed in a checkered pattern, some cakes on top. 
make it look like a nice little picnic rug. And uh, you can probably put this in a park or even a garden and it would look very, very nice. And uh, it, would, it would just suit nicely. Next, uh, speaking of gardens, we have a barbecue. Everyone loves a barbecue. We have some furnaces here just like this and I fell in the swimming pool, but that's okay. We can build a barbecue on the side of a swimming pool, no problem. We have our trap doors either side. We then have our iron doors on the back of this and uh, more trap doors kind of hanging over the top. And you get these cool little uh, designs. But like I said, trap doors are very, very nice. You can place them pretty much anywhere. And uh, they actually look very, very, very good. On top of uh, these, we actually have ourselves, uh, well, you have to place this first, actually, if we shift click this, and then you can place your trap door above, um, like so, if I place it there, and remove this. There we go, perfect. Overhanging, the pressure plate is on top, and it kind of just makes the barbecue look a little more realistic. Next up, we have a street lamp design. This is just some Neverack fence. We then have a hooper hopper, a beacon on top surrounded by some signs, and a trapdoor on top to kind of close it all in and finish off the design. Next up, we have a ceiling fan. Now, if I just dig down a little bit, this is what you'd probably be seeing from your ceiling. And it just looks, it looks nice. I don't know what to say about it. Uh, you probably want it hanging from a ceiling and not floating like me, but it's just a slab. Two iron trapdoors coming out of all four sides and a little glass connecting it to what I would hope would be your roof. And you have an awesome ceiling fan design, which unfortunately does not spin. But, uh, you know, it does look the part. Moving on to probably the best bed design out of this 100 different designs. It's very nice. It's huge. It's grand. It's luxury. And it's probably what you want if you are building or have the time to build a traditional Minecraft home. So um, it is pretty much just some uh, wooden blocks with some cobblestone walls. We have a fence in the middle, another wall on top. And then the design kind of continues. And this happens on all four corners of the bed. The bed itself is simply just some clay blocks with some carpet on top and some snow caps on the back. Um, the rest of the bed is just, um, you know, as you can see, we got some uh, stairs which are connected in uh, the corners. Uh, we got some slabs in the middle and then some more stairs on the end. The top is uh, all made out of slabs and stairs. All you need is dark oak slabs and dark oak stairs or whatever color you want to use. And then there's some uh, trap doors uh, kind of in the middle, um, separating them and looking like little beams. But if you look from above, it looks very, very nice. It looks very nice from the side. It's an all round nice bed design. Boom, we have a ping pong table uh, or table tennis design. I mean, usually these are blue or at least in England, they're kind of blue, but I don't know. I thought it looked pretty cool. Um, it's just made of, we got some glass on these sides, some carpet on top, and that didn't go on top. There we go. We then have our nets in the middle made out of white glass and some trapdoors under it. Yet again, we'll look good in your games room with maybe the snooker table that we covered. Um, and uh, yeah, if, you, if you're rich and you have all of this stuff in your house, so be it. Have fun with it. Own it. But it's a very nice design, nonetheless. Speaking of games... Um, we have a arcade machine. I think this will look pretty cool. You can have them in all different colors going on in the room. They're very simple to make. Take a few seconds. We have our uh, blue concrete block in a little L shape like this. Bam, bam, bam. We have a painting just like that. We then have some carpet on top. Oh, we need to place this. There we go. And now we can have our carpet on top. Bam. Then we place our signs on the side and we place our button on the front. Bish bash bosh, arcade machine. Like I said, different colors. This would look great in a huge row and uh, would be a pretty good addition to your Minecraft house. Bang. Another, um, what would you call this? Maybe a shelving unit, uh, maybe a wine rack. I kind of have these fences inside because they remind me of the little uh, things that you kind of hang your wine bottles in. Maybe that's just me. Maybe you want to hang some coats or stuff inside of this. I don't know, but I like it. We've then got some more storage down here. You could put some stuff in here. Metaphorically, you can't actually store stuff in here, by the way. Disclaimer, but we are using our imaginations as this is the world of Minecraft. Next up, we have an awesome little lamp design on a little simple table using uh, just two sandstone stairs. I hope that plant pot doesn't disappear. There we go. Bang, facing each other, very, very simple plant pot. And then an emerald with a skeleton skull on the back, as you can see. We have these blocks here, so you can't see his little angry face. And uh, yeah, it looks like a very nice lamp design and would work well in any kind of hallway in your home. Moving on, we have a kitchen fridge. This is using some quartz blocks and some quartz stairs. The quartz stairs is to kind of represent the ice machine. I don't know how effective it really looks. I personally like it. It kind of just uh, gives a little bit of depth to the fridge. So it's just not a lot of quartz blocks. And then we have some trap doors on the top, just like so. I think it's cool. You can have it at the end of your kitchen unit, but uh, I definitely think it's a cool fridge design. And if you don't want any functionality to it and just want it for the looks, 
it is definitely uh, just a pretty cool one to have in the house. Next, we have a little kitchen, uh, I don't know, kitchen unit, I guess. We have a little sink, a little window. But the best thing about this is these doors actually open and uh, kind of look like real life cabinets. Now, of course, they're not real life cabinets. They're simply doors placed down one block and then you cover them up with uh, whatever block your floor is made of. You flick them back. They look like normal cabinets and you can actually open and interact with these, which I think is very, very cool. Next up, we have a modern shelving design. This is just using some stairs pretty much in a little circle or rectangle. So what you do is you place one, you place one facing the opposite way, the opposite way and the different direction. So you have a uh, kind of like a, little, uh, well, like a little C shape here. And then you finally connect it just like so. If I can do that, uh, there we go. Remove those, square. You can then connect them. You can have like five of these on a huge, huge colored wall. And it would look very, very good. And of course, your plant pots or anything really can go on top of them to kind of add the final touches. We now have a super simple little modern TV. This is the same as the one that was on the bed earlier, just on a little um, a little side table using some uh, slabs and some stairs. But, uh, you know, nonetheless, trying to show you guys everything so you guys have all the inspiration, all the ideas to make some awesome creations for your Minecraft worlds. Uh, we then have this old TV, which is pretty cool. It's uh, black concrete and levers or a lever. Um, you place them in the center like this, place your lever one way, flick it, other way, flick it. And it kind of looks like the little aerials that, uh, you know, TVs used to have to get their signal because back in the day, not my day, but back in some people's day, they had to have that. Like, I don't know what, what we were thinking, but uh, you know, it was technology back then. But now we don't have to have those. We, we, we're good, we're good, we're good. Um, moving swiftly on, we have a, another kitchen design, more of a futuristic design I was going for here with the blue and white color scheme. Um, very, very simplistic. We have a furnace behind this glass stain, looking like a nice little oven. We then have the, uh, you know, the hood or the range hood, um, sucking all the air on the smoke on the steam out of this and filtering it into the outside world. We then have a cauldron with some water inside of it to represent a sink and a cool little fridge design using some concrete and some buttons on the end. Overall, very, very simple kitchen design, but uh, you know, hopefully you guys will be able to take this, change it up a little bit and use it in your Minecraft homes. Next, we have a very nice little shelf design. Now this is using the snow in the carpet. Once again, let me grab that just like this. You place the snow caps down. I'm using, wait, one, two, three, four, five. So five snow caps, carpet on top, carpet on top, and carpet on top. And then you kind of have them disappearing one after the other. So this one has one less than this one, so on and so forth, and you build them up. And it just makes for a nice modern shelving unit. Next, we have a very, very simple chest of drawers or side cabinet. We just have some upside down stairs, some full blocks on top, buttons, and as you can see, it makes a cool little design, and the buttons kind of give it that little extra bit of detail and depth, and then you have your flower on top, just to finish it off, you know? Simple stuff, but uh, yet again, very effective. Next, we have a cactus inside of a plant pot. You place down your plant pot, of course, your cactus inside, and then you place your two leaves on top. You could probably make the leaves a little bit taller if you wanted to. For example, if you wanted three leaves, we could do that if we wanted to kind of, I don't know, make the tree a little bit bigger. Um, it just really depends on how you're feeling. I mean, this probably looks a little bit disproportionate. It doesn't look too bad. Um, but yeah, cactus with some leaves on top makes for a very nice plant design. Next, we have an awesome little scarecrow design. We have in a little wheat field uh, just like this. Let me break this so I can place another scarecrow first spruce fence just like this we then have some stripped log we then have our scary looking pumpkin uh carved pumpkin on top just like that with a hay bale on his head we can then place string either side of the pumpkin we can place our yellow carpet on top going all the way around and this forms his hat we then use some levers or levers for his arms let's do these ones down uh just so he's kind of sad and uh in the grumps and some banners on the back to kind of look like his uh, little clothing because we don't want our scarecrow to be naked, although that probably scare a lot more people off. Moving on, we have a pretty cool drum kit design. As you can see, it's using a lot of different blocks. We have some black, uh, black concrete like this. We then have a lot of fences with some pressure plates on the top of these. Um, and then we have a little lever to act as the thing you kind of press down with your foot and it's hitting uh, the little pad, which is actually represented by an item frame. You could use these in any order you wanted, kind of switch up the, the look of your drum kit. But if you are building uh, something to do with like music or maybe a stage or a music room, this drum kit is a very, very nice design indeed. Next up, we have the Candy Floss Cotton Candy Machine. 
uh, you can have at a carnival or a festival or something i don't know but uh, it's very simple to make we just grab ourselves a black concrete we then place birch stairs on the end like this our birch fence goes on the back we open it um we then grab our trap door for our wheels glass block and our colored pink carpet to represent the cotton candy machine and uh that is it that is very, very simple but uh you know effective once again and all of these i hope give you guys some idea and some inspiration to build some awesome things moving on we have an awesome sitable chair as you can see i am sat down in this chair and i'm having the best time of my life now this is very very simple once again you simply grab yourself a minecart um some rails you place the rail down in the center of the trap doors you place the minecart down and then you can of course sit in the chair if you didn't think of that you now know and you can actually uh, make a suitable chair without any mods and of course it's pretty cool i like it hopefully you guys do too moving on we have an awesome race car bed this would look great in any child's room in uh, minecraft so basically it's a bed duh with um some stairs placed either side like this and then you then kind of have your wheel design you're basically building a car and then in the center of it placing a bed now there are a lot of car designs in minecraft this is just a very simple one using some upside down and uh you know different facing stairs little chest on the end for storage we got our wheels and our buttons and this thing is just awesome um if you guys do uh you know change this design a little bit like i said uh, send it to me on twitter for any of these designs and i will uh, make sure to retweet that and uh yeah we then have a lawn mower very cool little design this so uh basically it's uh we just got a little dark oak stair like this let's place it upside down facing us that, that did not work huh boom we then place our slab on the end we place our wither skulls facing inwards either side of this on both sides two of them it's kind of act it like little wheels we then grab ourselves our fence gate for the little handle boom and we place our pressure plate on top and we have ourselves a lawnmower if you don't know how to build a lawnmower you do now it takes two seconds and i bet you didn't even know it we have an awesome chimney design or well this isn't actually a chimney it's more of a fireplace or a fire mantle that you could have in your home we are using some uh bricks at this time upside down brick stairs like this of course we have our brick slabs in the middle boom boom and then of course we kind of repeat this on the side we then have our fire in the center using our never rack and our flint and steel and we then build it up one block in at a time and finally it goes into our chimney brick is very good for a mantelpiece or fireplace it stands out on uh, the back of a colored wall and it would look very cool in pretty much any house our next design is probably another one of my favorites out of this is another bunk bed design but this time we have a little office area underneath and now i used to have a bed like this as a kid you could actually even place signs maybe along the side of the bed to make it look uh, a little more safe and so you know whoever's sleeping on top doesn't fall down but it's simply floating beds in three like i said earlier you can actually make the beds float uh if you place them properly on top of each other like so bam 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 and they just kind of stay there so on and so forth and then we have the computer design on a desk that i showed you earlier integrated with the bunk bed design so like i said a lot of these builds can be combined into a, a different kind of build kind of the same thing but it kind of just adds on top of each other and that's the beauty of minecraft you can take things from somewhere take them from somewhere else and uh, combine them into one next we have a garden or well i guess you could put it in your garden or a campfire it's not really a campfire it's more of a fire pit um the fire is kind of excluded from the chairs around it but it's simply a never rack with logs uh, facing outwards either side some iron bars around it to kind of uh keep everyone safe and then some simple uh trap door chair designs around the edge but i figured i'd show it to you guys just in case you've never done this before and you would like to put it in your uh you know your minecraft worlds as we have another bed design but i wanted to focus away from the bed we've seen this bed before earlier but more towards the feature on the wall so this bed backboard is actually pretty much just made of spruce wood blocks we then have a row of uh you know slabs across the top a little gap in the middle some flowers and behind this a brick feature wall and it kind of reminded me of like a new york brooklyn apartment and i figured i'd show it to you guys and maybe if you're building that kind of style house you'd like a little bit of uh, inspiration for some furniture uh you know in the bedroom that again goes for tv designs you could uh, maybe carve this out on the wall with spruce wood have your brick shown behind and have a little tv just below and uh, i think it would look just as good in my opinion next up we have a grandfather clock um i actually have never seen one of these in real life i don't think maybe i have seen a grandfather clock but you know i know what they look like i've seen the movies 
and uh, this is a pretty cool design so let's recreate this uh, a few blocks down shall we we just need ourselves some oak wood or uh, well, dark oak wood doors in our case let's place them on the sides just like this we place our dark block on the bottom along the back in the wall so it kind of looks like it's all one we place another one on top we then surround this top block with the same color trapdoors boom boom and boom we grab ourselves an emerald stick it down it's kind of like the um what is it is it the actual clock that hangs down i don't know you guys can teach me something for once put it down in the comment section below tell me what it is that is uh ticking i know it takes i think it's just the clock right that hangs down um we then need some item frames let me go and grab those so we can finish this off item frame goes on the bottom on the top we place a sunflower to represent the clock and a compass or an actual clock um in the top and we have a grandfather clock awesome design looks pretty intricate and would look great in any of your traditional homes next up we have an awesome little booth that you could place in maybe like a hotel lobby or a restaurant cafe i just think it's very very cool once again we have the banner design in the ground we then place our slabs over this. They turn black for some reason. I don't know why, but I don't question Minecraft anymore. We place our andesite around the edge. We then place our glass on top for some privacy barriers and then a simple table design in the middle and it creates for an awesome booth feeling. Next up, we have a speaker and TV set. Um, we simply just place our colored blocks down, some item frames on the front, some uh, you know, wool blocks in the item frames and they kind of look like huge, huge, like, I don't know, big industrial speakers. And if you have them in your house, it's going to be very, very loud. So just a disclaimer, you want to put these in your house, your air drums, they're going to burst. We then have a reading area. Now, we've used this lamp and we've used these chairs, but this table in the middle is very, very nice. It uses a bookshelf, a block of glass, and two bits of carpet. It's pretty much makeable in any Minecraft world. Bang, 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 and bang. Perfect. And we then have the reading lamp. And again, I'm just showing you different kind of uh, ideas put together can make another great idea. And you know, like I said, beauty of Minecraft, figured I would show it to you guys. Next up, we have ourselves an awesome modern bath design. So first we place our gray concrete backdrop. We then grab ourselves some quartz stairs. We place these in front of them, turning around to kind of create a little mini bath. We then place some flower pots on top. And what you would usually do is actually place another wall behind this back wall. And it would give you this awesome little kind of, I don't know, triple down effect. So you'd have your main wall, your little feature wall, and then your bath kind of hanging down the front. And uh, I just think it's very, very effective. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Perfect. Uh, but there you go. As you can see, it adds a lot of depth and a lot of different colors and makes the build a little less boring. Next, we have the same bath design. But this time we have some glass panes to represent a shower cover or a shower curtain um, or a shower divider. You stand in here, take your shower in the bath. And then at the front, we have a little hanging towel um, using a banner as well. And as you probably know, if you don't, you place a banner on the block. It actually disappears into the ground. That's just banner physics, but it makes for some pretty cool looking towel designs. Next up, we have the mystery mirror. How can I see onto the other side? Well, guys, it's very, very simple. It's just ice in the middle. You break this. It's the same thing built on the other side. Of course, I would have a door here if I was building this in a real Minecraft situation. But, you know, in my little showroom of 100 plus ideas, I, I didn't think it was necessary. Um, but simply, you build one side. You mimic it on the other, allowing a one block space in the middle. You cover this with ice or any transparent block. And uh, it then gives you this mirror effect, which I think... It's really, really nice. You know, it's an old technique, an old little trick of the devil, um, but it does work and it looks very, very effective. If only my actual reflection of my Minecraft character was behind there, that would be cool. Um, but, you know, we can't do that. Next up, we have some toilet designs. Our first one is more of a little medieval toilet. Do they have toilets in those? I don't think they had these in those days. I think they used holes in the ground to poop in, but yeah it is what it is um so these are just made from stairs we have a little lever on the side and a pressure plate to kind of act as the toilet seat itself we then have the same design using some quartz with a baton on the side um instead of the lever and our final toilet design is actually an upside down stair a quartz slab on the front a bit of carpet and some snow caps on top of the stair because you can do that and it kind of just adds for a little slimmer look to the toilet so three toilet designs for you guys Hopefully you guys can put them to some use. Moving on to a awesome, awesome shower design. Now, this is pretty cool. Let me remove these at the side so you can kind of see what is going on inside of here. 
First off, we have our raised ground. Okay, we have our normal block. We dig one block in. We then place our snow caps to one block down um, from the ground like this. And then in the corner, it kind of has to be in a corner. So if you guys don't have a corner space, probably not the best. And then you then uh, lower it by another snow cap level. And it looks like the drainage area for the shower. Built into the wall, I just have some gray carpet blocks stacked on top of each other for some bit of storage or shelving. Little button there and then the trap door to represent the shower head. You could even do it kind of like this design and maybe have some stained glass like that and to make it look like that's holding the shower head. But uh, you know, if you're looking for a shower design, this is probably uh, a pretty nice direction to go in. Moving on, we have another swimming pool design. I know it's not with the other ones over there, but you know, the more the merrier. There's nothing wrong with more swimming pool designs. This is simply using some uh, blue wool and carpet uh, in a three by one by three circle. Fly to the top, you can see it's uh, just water filled in the middle and uh, some iron bars around it. Without the iron bars, it kind of looks a little bit, uh, I don't know, weak. These kind of just give it a little bit more support. We have a ladder going into it. You can climb up and go for a little dip and uh, yeah, hopefully not drown. Next up, we have a palm tree design. If you are building a beach resort or simply a custom beach, this palm tree design is very, very nice indeed. Uh, you pretty much just build the trunk of the tree going up in any direction you'd really want it to. Um, I like to turn mine preferably because they just kind of look a little bit cooler when you turn them, I guess. Let's turn it up by one more just to prove a point. We grab ourselves our jungle leaves and they just kind of spread off into each direction like so. And uh, the way I do them is I do two out, I do them one diagonally down, and another two diagonally down, just like this. And of course, then you do it this way, diagonally, and it ends up looking like this awesome design down here. I've then placed some trapdoors to kind of give it a little bit more depth and detail, but overall, palm tree, very simple, but yet yeah, very effective. Finally, I'm losing my voice now, but finally, we have a simple well design. Now, I've just made a hole in the ground for my well. It's not very deep, but it, uh, you know, it represents the, the water. And uh, we then have um, these fence poles holding up a cauldron in the middle field of water. Of course, this is to represent a, uh, a bucket being lowered down into the well. You can maybe even place this. I think that connects now. Perfect. That actually looks better. I'm improving as I'm going. So, you know, that is a sign of progression and, uh, you know, character development. Um, <laughs> I have a glass pane now holding the bucket and going down into the well. And uh, it would just look pretty cool maybe in a garden or just in a little village center. But uh, I like it. I like it. Let me know what you think. But that is it, guys, for 100 plus Minecraft furniture ideas. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new around here so you don't miss any content. Hit the notification button and you'll be notified every time I upload to the channel. If you do have any video ideas, make sure to leave those in the comment section below. I love you all so much. Stay creative, stay positive, and I will see you in my next Minecraft video. Bye, guys.